Hey everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. I'm gonna teach you how to spatchcock a chicken. This is our favorite way to roast a whole chicken. Every part is so juicy and flavorful. It's an easy dinner that comes together in one pan. You'll need a whole chicken and a pair of good kitchen shears. Place the chicken breast side down with the wings and neck facing towards you. Identify the spine and use the kitchen shears to cut through the ribs right next to the spine on both sides. Keep that piece for later to make chicken stock. Now open up the rib cage and use a heavy knife to score down the sternum. This will help to pop out that breastbone and flatten the chicken. Season the inside with about half a teaspoon of salt and a pinch of black pepper. Now flip the chicken over and place it on a rimmed, lined baking sheet. Using the palm of your hand, push firmly over the breastbone so the chicken lays completely flat. Use your hands to carefully separate the skin from the meat over the breast, thigh, and drumstick areas. You're going to fill those spaces with an amazing flavored butter. In a small mixing bowl, combine four tablespoons of softened, unsalted butter and one tablespoon of olive oil. Add one tablespoon of finely chopped fresh parsley, then mince in two garlic cloves. Now add half a teaspoon of fresh lemon zest, then squeeze in one tablespoon of lemon juice. And don't add more than that or it'll be hard to combine the butter. Finally, season with a teaspoon of salt and a generous pinch of black pepper. Mash that together with a fork for a couple of minutes until nearly all of the lemon juice is incorporated. Pat the chicken dry with a paper towel so it's easier to work with, then stuff two thirds of your flavored butter mix under the chicken skin. Make sure to get it in the breast, thigh, and drumstick areas, then spread the butter around by massaging over the top of the skin. Roughly spread the remaining butter over the top of the chicken. The butter melts over the chicken so there's no need for perfection here. Set the chicken aside and this is a great time to preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Rinse and scrub two pounds of medium red potatoes and cut them into quarters. Next, prepare your eight ounces of Brussels sprouts. Trim off the dry base and remove any tough outer leaves. Cut the larger sprouts in half and if they're really tiny, leave them whole. Peel three medium carrots and cut them into one inch pieces. Arrange all of your vegetables in a single layer around your prepared chicken. Drizzle everything with olive oil and season generously with salt and black pepper. Bake in the center of a preheated oven for 45 minutes or until an instant read thermometer registers 160 degrees Fahrenheit when inserted into the thickest part of the chicken breast. Oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> winner, winner, easy chicken dinner. That's my kind of meal. All right, ooh, this smells so good. Oh, look at that crisp, salty skin, wow. And then if you have any lemon left, I love to serve this with some fresh slices of lemon. It just looks so beautiful. Gives it a little pop of freshness and color. And, of course the vegetables, and in all honesty, I love the vegetables just as much as I do the chicken. There's so much flavor, they're perfectly cooked. And especially the Brussels sprouts, my favorite. <laughs> Let's slice right into this. And because it lays flat like this, the chicken breast turns out juicy and flavorful. Oh, that looks juicy. <laughs> Come on, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the prettiest slice, but that's what happens when you're desperate. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. yum. And I'm gonna cut into that juiciness. Ooh, crispy. <laughs> crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. Perfect. This is truly delicious. Wow. And I can tell you that brown meat or the dark meat of the chicken, even better if you like dark meat. 
and that lemon butter under the skin and over the skin gives the chicken so much incredible flavor. You can really taste the lemon, the parsley, the garlic. Yum. The vegetables are infused with that same flavored butter. Oh man, it just makes every bite irresistibly good. Yum, yum. My kids love this too, vegetables included. <laughs> Mm. This is gonna be a long taste test, but <laughs> it's just so good. The potatoes have a crisp, salty skin and they're just creamy on the inside. Absolutely delicious. I hope you guys enjoy this for a quick and easy weeknight meal. If you enjoyed this video, give me a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Hey, whoa! <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Hmm? If you guys are looking for more easy weeknight meals, check these out right over there. And click below to subscribe, and when you do, click that little bell icon. Don't forget, it'll mean you never miss one of our recipes.